Seven Star Turret event for Blaziken has been announced for Scarlet and Violet later this week. We're going to take a look in today's video at some of the best builds that you can put together in your game to beat this when it does go live. <laughs> So the revolving door of seven star terrorites has begun in Scarlet and Violet once again after the release of the Indigo disc. We've got the seven star terrorite event for Blaziken announced and it will be coming to the games on the 12th of January later this week running over that weekend until the 14th and then returning the following week from the 19th until the 21st of January. It will be a flying terror type Pokemon and alongside it we do have now confirmation that it will be returning with five star terror raids for Blissey. So there will be Blissey raids going on alongside this terror raid event which give you more terror shards and rare candies. We know all about the Blisseys. They've happened before. Really useful for farming terror shards and also the rare candy items that you might need to level things up in your game but getting on to the blaziken and what we can maybe expect from it when it goes live later this week it's going to be very similar to the decidui raid that we had in the middle of last year which had the flying terror type as well both very similar pokemon in a lot of respects obviously different typings but their base stats are pretty similar blaziken's only standout thing from the Decidueye is it's got a way higher attack stat at 120 base opposed to the 107 that the Decidueye holds. So Blaziken has the potential to hit a lot harder than the Decidueye, but in a lot of respects, their defense stats are very similar. The only thing that you would say is Blaziken is a lot weaker on its special defense side. Its HP multiplier, gonna have that 30 times multiplier being a seven star terror raid. It will be sitting around 9,030. What we're gonna have to do damage wise to beat it will have its speed boost hidden ability more than likely. And of course, it will have that flying terror type as well. The most likely attacks it's probably looking like it's going to have fire fighting coverage, which are its base typings. Then it's going to have the flying type attacks as well, which is going to complement its terror typing. And then the outliers I've got here are Shadow Claw and Night Slash because it does get the move Focus Energy, which can play a big part in this raid. It might be a route we see the Blaziken take where it goes for the Focus Energy to boost the critical hit chances of the already high critical hit chances like Blaze Kick has. And the Shadow Claw and Night Slash can play off that as well. So something just to keep in mind. But Flare Blade is going to be its most powerful fire type attack it does have access to. Its signature attack, of course, is Blaze Kick as well, which we've already mentioned does carry that higher critical hit rate and a 10% chance to burn as well biggest fighting type attack that it does have access to is going to be close combat and then we're looking at the flying type attacks are going to be acrobatics which is going to have the damage double because it's unlikely to have a held item there and then brave bird as well which is another big flying type attack that it does have in its arsenal so those are things to watch out for the setup options that it does have it has bulk up of course boosting attack and defense Sword Stand's going to boost that attack by two stages every time it uses it. Focus Energy, we've already outlined. And then Sunny Day, that's going to boost the power of those fire type attacks as well. So some pretty threatening setup that it could have access to. And it's only going to be hitting on its physical side. It is primarily going to be hitting off that 120 base attack stat that we've already mentioned. And I can't really see it being a mixed set at all. I think it's going to take full advantage of those physical type attacks. So I'm going to want to really be concentrating on physical defensive tools to kind of get your Pokemon through these raids. But I honestly don't feel like it's going to be as difficult as we see. I think the big threats are probably things like a turn one sword stance or turn one focus energy here where it does start to take advantage of some of those tools that it does have to boost the attack power of some of those really big powerful attacking options it's got one other option that i haven't outlined here and it's setup options is feather dance which the decidui did have access to as well which it can utilize to lower your attack stat by two stages every time it uses it so again it's probably preferable that you bring a special attacking pokemon against the blaziken rather than a physical attacking pokemon because if the feather dance is there it's going to make it a bit more difficult to get the damage output on to the blaziken that you kind of require now against the flying terror type you would look at things like rock type pokemon would be effective against it and ice type pokemon but they're kind of covered in its base attack and moves where you've got the flare blades which is going to cover your ice type pokemon and you've got the fighting which is going to cover the rock type pokemon as well so it's going to make bringing those pokemon in particular a bit more difficult i think the preliminary thoughts going into this raid is that electric types are going to be the best option going in against it because 
A lot of electric types going to be able to resist the flying type attacks that are going to come out boosted by that flying terror type, as well as not taking super effective damage from likes of those fire type attacks and fighting type moves that it does have access to. Now, the builds that we're going to recommend in today's video, we've got three of them. I think that's probably all going to need before going into the raid live and finding out exactly how this raid is going to perform, obviously, when it resets your stat drops when it resets its stat drops and what that turn zero move is until we figure that out we can't say for definite what the best option is going to be to go in and beat this in your games but using that decidueye raid that we've already had with the flying terror type as a reference point we're going to go off the same sort of electric types that were very effective in that raid of course it might be slightly different but of course when the raid goes live we always put up a best build after we've done that initial testing phase with what the best effective Pokemon are to take in. But if you want some builds to prepare in the lead up to this event for when the raid goes live, then I think these are going to be the best ones for you. Maridon, of course, was very effective against Decidueye. It is going to have that electric terror typing. But the wide lens item on there, you could change that for the life orb. That was still a very effective against the Decidueye going to be level 100 going to be hyper trained goes without saying but all the builds that we feature in today's video will be down in the description below so if you want to take a look at those after the video be my guest then the move set that we've got for the maridon is going to be metal sound charge parabolic charge and electro drift hidden engine is the ability and the ev spread that we've got on this one is going to be 252 evs in hp and in special attack with the rest put in defense so it'll be six in defense the only thing I would say about this EV spread that you might want to change is taking all of those EVs out of the HP and then putting them all into defense instead. It'll probably give you a little bit more staying power against the physical threat that Blaziken is. But I think, honestly, that HP investment is going to be fine where it is. That would be the only caveat to changing, I think, because of the pure physical threat that the Blaziken kind of has. Basic premise of this one is going to be going for those three metal sounds at the start of the battle. Of course, if the shield goes up early, you're not going to be able to utilize metal sounds. So this becomes a little bit null and void. So we'll have to look for other options. But if the shield isn't up early on the Blaziken, which I don't expect it to be going straight into the raid, metal sound is going to be a really good option here to lower that special defense by two stages every time you use it get it down to minus six then you utilize your charge that's going to boost your electric type attacks the electric terrain should still be on the field and then fire off an electro drift the reason why we've got the wide lens is to boost the accuracy of metal sound there's nothing worse than going into a raid and using metal sound and it missing missing again at least with the wide lens, it gives you the option where you can have that better accuracy. You are more likely to hit and you've got the parabolic charge as well if you need to, to recover any health that you lose throughout the setup. The next option is going to be belly bolt. Again, a very effective method against the Decidueye. It's going to be good defensively as well. And I think it'll do just as good a job against the Blaziken. Going to resist those big flying type attacks that come out from it. It'll take neutral damage from the fire and the fighting type attack. So that's something you're going to have to watch out for. But I think all in all, Belly Bolt going to be a Pokemon that you can take into solo. And it's going to be a very good support Pokemon to take online and play with others as well. With a moveset of Electric Terrain, Acid Spray, Chilling Water and Parabolic Charge. The Electromorphosis ability on there as well, which is really important for this one. And again, an EV spread of 252 EVs in HP and in special attack with the rest put in that defense stat. Again, a bit like the Maraidon, you could just put all of those HP EVs into the defense just to give you a bit better staying power against the Blazer Kid when it goes live. The basic premise of this moveset is going to be to Acid Spray three times. Now, this might be better than the Maraidon if we do see that shield go up early because the Acid Spray will work through the shield and it's still lower the special defense by two stages every time you use it. Once it's down to minus six, you can set up the electric terrain and then just spam that parabolic charge, which is going to be helped out by that metronome item that we do have access to. And then chilling water is a really nice option against the Blaziken because it's going to lower the attack stat on that Blaziken by one stage every time you use it. So again, why I say it might be good to go in with players online to support, you can weaken the Blaziken with that chilling water, guaranteed to lower that attack stat even through the shield. And you can also support fellow attacking Pokemon with the Acid Spray, weakening them as well. Electric Train is always going to be good to boost your overall damage. But Belly Bolt, I feel like a very consistent option going into this place again. The only thing that I would say is maybe the EV spread could be adjusted to just change that HP investment into the defense and then just have max special attack and max 
defense EV investment on the belly bolt. So a decent one. I think Maraidon, if you've got access to it, obviously not everyone has access to Maraidon because it is a Violet exclusive. But most of you by now should have access to it, even if you are Scarlet players in your game. Belly Ball is available to everyone, so easily accessible in game and going to be one of those where you can solo it in game yourself and go online to do it with others. And then the final one is going to be another bit more of an exclusive one, but I think a very good option going in against the Blazerkin as well this weekend, and that's going to be Arceus. Arceus level 100, going to have that stellar terror typing with the Zap Plate held item, so it is going to be an electric type. Gonna have the move set of Recover, Calm Mind, Acid Spray, and Judgment with the EV spread of 252 in HP, 252 in Special Attack, and the rest put in Defense. Again, same basic premise could be said for the Arceus where you take the HP investment out and put it all in Defense. It is gonna give you a little bit more staying power, probably against the Blaziken's physical attacks. Basic premise of this is gonna be Acid Spraying three times. Again, if the shield goes up early, you're gonna be able to lower that Special Defense even through the shield. And then use Calm Mind two to three times and then just start firing off those judgments until you can terrestrialize and do some big damage with Arceus. So very straightforward this week, I think, with these three builds. But I don't really see us having to look too far outside of this with these. I think the only things that you could maybe think about the Maraidon changing up is putting Reflect on there over something like the Parabolic Charge. But then you lose that kind of recovery that you get in the game. Other than that, I think these three are going to be decent enough options for you to build in game and have a good bit of preparation for when the event goes live later this week. Of course, like I've already mentioned in today's video, we will be putting up a solo best build once the raid goes live, once we've done that testing phase to make sure that what we put out is actually working. But we might see variations in this raid where we see the shield go up early. We might see it negate effects on our side of the field a lot earlier than we expect or multiple times more than we're used to seeing or nullify stats on its side of the field more irregularly than we're used to seeing on seven star raids so until the raid goes live we don't know exactly but if you were to put your money on what the best pokemon were to prepare for this raid these three would be it so i think you're pretty safe putting any of these together in your game have an easy time when the raid goes live later this week but i hope you found today's video useful if you've got your own builds in mind what you think is going to be effective against the blaziken when it goes live do let me know down in the comment section below i'd love to hear your thoughts what you're planning to bring against the blaziken i don't expect this one to be that difficult but i don't know if i'm just being clouded by the thoughts of that decidui raid that we've already had don't underestimate the Blaziken is probably the best course to go in against it, but I think it might be an easy one. I think the Flying Terror type makes it a lot easier than some of the other options that it could have probably utilized to take forward in this seven star turret. But excited to see it nonetheless when it goes live later this week on Thursday evening first in the UK. I hope you found today's video useful. Like I say, if you have, drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all of our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content. And I will see you all in another video very soon. So until then, friends, take care of yourselves and bye-bye.